this video I'm going to explain to you how restriction enzymes work. Think of restriction enzymes as molecular scissors that are able to cut DNA at very specific sections called as a recognition sequence. Once the DNA has been cut into two or more pieces, it is no longer functional. There's a lot of cells, for example, human cells use restriction enzymes to disable DNA from foreign microorganisms like bacteria and viruses. Restriction enzyme is made up of proteins and the surface of the protein is molded to give you teeth like structures and these teeth like structures fit onto the grooves on DNA so they are exactly complemented to the grooves on DNA. Once the restriction enzyme has clamped onto the DNA it uses energy to cut the DNA into two halves which are known as sticky ends. Each restriction enzyme only recognizes a particular recognition sequence and thus a cell would have several thousand restriction enzymes to cut different sections of DNA. Now once the DNA has been converted to two pieces it is no longer functional because two ends of DNA are no longer able to rejoin therefore the cell is not able to make new proteins. Restriction enzymes have a lot of applications in biotechnology. Uh, essentially they can be used to cut and paste DNA from one organism to the other and they have been used for the production of a variety of resources like antibiotics or enzymes and recently they have been used in the production of green fuel and in the production of synthetic DNA which can take over the functioning of a cell. You can find out more about restriction enzyme and current applications in biotechnology on my website at httpsciencepass.com. I hope you enjoyed this little video and thanks for listening.